What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a quick look at the Lightning to 30-pin adapter. This is an adapter that lets you use your existing 30-pin accessories with the new Lightning connector debuting on the all-new Apple devices like the iPhone 5, iPod Touch, iPod Nano, and the upcoming iPad Mini. There are two versions of the adapter, the standard one-piece design as I have here, or one with a 0.2-meter extension cable. The one-piece design is only $29, while the cabled version is $39. Like all Apple accessories, packaging is minimal, but still clever. Inside the box, you'll find the adapter neatly tied down to a cardboard tray. Also in the box is some standard literature. Now the adapter itself is very simple, with the 30-pin dock connector at one end and the very small lightning connector at the other. In addition to syncing and charging, the adapter actively converts the digital-only lightning connector so it can support analog audio output, as well as USB audio. This is particularly important for cars that support iPod control. Unfortunately, video output, either analog or digital, is not supported through the adapter. For its part, Apple has said that it will eventually release an additional VGA adapter for analog video output. The adapter can be used in a number of ways. You can connect it directly to a 30-pin cable, so you can continue to use your existing dock cables rather than buying more lightning cables. Or you can use the adapter with a dock, such as Apple's Universal AV dock. This lets you charge, sync, and use the AV functions such as audio output and remote control playback. And in case you're wondering, this also works with the old iPhone 4 and 4S docks, although it's very unstable and not something I would recommend. You can also use this with existing audio docks, such as the popular iHome series. So here, I can play and control my music directly on the dock, just like I'm used to with my existing iPhones and iPods. It's important to point out, however, that the single piece adapter will not work with most cases, so you may want to invest the extra $10 to get the version with an extension cable, which will resemble the functionality of the standard Lightning USB cable. So that's going to do for me, guys, in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.